Hello and welcome to Zovi Reviews. In this video, we will talk about the 10 best new web series that premiered on Netflix in 2024, ranging from Netflix's new sci-fi to crime to action stories. This top 10 list will include series that are entertaining, filled with new themes and concepts, and have fantastic characters that keep your attention throughout the story and value your time. Now, let's start the video. Number 10, Super Sex is a critical drama series that is partially based on the life of the famous Italian adult star Rocco Sei. This series portrays C's past, relationships, family, and the events that led him to choose a career in adult content, as well as his journey to success in the erotic world. Despite being biographical, the drama delves into deeper, more primitive themes in Rocco S. Freddy's life, such as his numerous romantic relationships, his choice of mentors, and some familial tragedies. Additionally, there are many intimate moments in the drama, so it is suitable primarily for mature audiences. Generally, the drama blends entertainment with valuable lessons as it takes you from his youth to adulthood. Number 9, Baby Bandido is a crime drama series directed by Julio Hero Ragata, Fernando Gazzoni, and Pepa San Martin. This drama is inspired by a robbery that occurred in Chile in 2014 and its main character is Kevin Tapia, who finds himself in financial struggles to take care of his mother and grandmother and gets caught up in the world of petty crimes. His dreams of popularity and wealth shine even brighter when he falls in love with Genesis, a young woman from a wealthy family, and wants to give her a lavish life. Kevin steals $7 million that was supposed to arrive at Santiago's International Airport. This bold move not only suddenly makes them wealthy, but also elevates them to the most wanted levels of the country, where they have to deal with law enforcement officers and angry criminals. The drama addresses some historical issues when the group steals money from other lawbreakers and presents a lively, occasionally humorous, and often distorted depiction of events. Although this drama often doesn't have a lasting impact on the audience, it is a slick and fast-paced drama that shows how real-life criminals pull off a big heist. Number 8. Fool Me Once is a thriller drama series directed by David Moore and Nair Rash. The story revolves around Maya Stern, who is trying to understand her husband Joe's horrific death, but when she sets up a nanny cam to watch over her young child, she is surprised to find her husband Joe alive and playing with their daughter inside their home. Puzzled and distressed, Maya begins to doubt her own mind as Abby and Daniel, Maya's niece and nephew, investigate the reality of their mother Claire Walker's murder a few months prior, as well as any connections between Joe's murder and their mother Claire Walker's case. The drama is adapted by Danny Brocklehurst, inspired by the 2015 book of the same title written by Harlan Sin. Although the drama isn't as excellent as the book, it certainly is a good suspenseful thriller that keeps viewers thinking right up until the end as Maya tries to uncover the truth about Joe's past and the murder. The drama constructs a narrative that compels you to doubt everything you see due to its deep plot twists, intricate characters, and relentless suspense. Overall, if you enjoyed the previous day, Fool Me Once is definitely worth watching. Number 7. Crooks is a crime action miniseries created by Marvin Kren. The story revolves around safe cracker Charlie, whose former accomplices endanger his family's lives by forcing him to steal a rare coin for them. Meanwhile, Joseph, the driver of an adversary's lethal plan in Vienna, is tasked with delivering items to Austria. But their well-prepared strategy fails leading to a shootout in which one person is killed. Inevitably, Charlie and Joseph's fates collide, forcing them to flee and protect Charlie's family from danger. While the core idea may be familiar, the series moves beyond traditional criminal thriller cliches, primarily due to the unique friendship between Charlie and Joseph, which is the highlight of the show. The entire plot revolves around a valuable coin that ignites a war among rival gangs across Europe, blending action, suspense, and humor at its core. For those who enjoy heist stories, this show is a great entertainment option, featuring a large cast of quirky characters who add plenty of dark comedy. Number 6, Judge D's Mystery, is a crime drama series directed by Lee Yanang. The story follows the renowned detective Deary, whose life takes an unexpected turn during a government shuffle that occurred during Empress Wu Zan's reign, where he is tasked with investigating peculiar cases in a remote village in the East. While Renji demonstrates remarkable skill in solving cases, 
delving deeper reveals a growing number of secrets that jeopardize both the Wuhan dynasty and the city's stability and security. Each episode excels at engaging viewers with gripping storylines, intricate puzzles, and immersive visuals. Think of this show as similar to Sherlock Holmes, with numerous mysteries throughout the season. The visually stunning sets lend dimension to the plot and flawlessly reflect the historical period. Although the plot may occasionally become a bit convoluted and less engaging compared to earlier episodes, the introduction of new cases keeps the drama moving swiftly and makes it an enjoyable story to follow. This show is worth a try for fans of detective dramas. You won't be disappointed. Number 5. Good Morning, Veronica is a crime mystery thriller series created by Rafael Montes. The third season of the show was released on February 14, 2024. But first, let's recap the main plot so that you can understand the essence of the series. The storyline of the first season centers on Veronica Torres, a police officer who investigates a woman's murder and discovers that she was the victim of a violent psychopath who preys on vulnerable women. Veronica, who is committed to upholding the victim's rights, begins her own investigation into the case and uncovers disturbing details about the murderer. With some characters returning from the first season, the second season features a different prime situation with Veronica at its center. And for viewers who have watched the first two seasons, the third season begins with Veronica heading to Monte Al to learn more about Monsignor Dela, where she meets Geron Nemo, a wealthy horse ranch operator who puts her life in danger. The third season has also concluded wrapping up the plot quickly, but in a way that was mostly enjoyable. Generally, the show attracts audiences with its blend of personal drama and crime-solving elements, addressing social themes such as violence and corruption in the justice system. For those who enjoy realistic crime dramas, the show is worth watching due to its fast-paced narrative. Number four, Queen of Tears is a romance drama series directed by Jang Young Wu and Kim Hee W. The story depicts the unusual romance between Chiel Princess Hong Han and the company's legal division leader Bian Wo. Everything starts when employee Bian Wo assists Hong Haiyan with her work when she decides to secretly experience what it's truly like to work for her family's renowned department store. Soon Haiyan finds this generosity to be incredibly meaningful, and they fight against every obstacle to maintain their relationship while dealing with a difficult time in their lives and overcoming a crisis. The majority of the plot is set up in the first episode in an entertaining manner, but the later few episodes lose some of their punch. However, the show has elements of classic Korean dramas and features a contemporary setting with dynasty conflict. While its characters may not be as funny or interesting as those in other K-dramas, they can be appealing to those who stick with the entire series. Overall, it's a predictable, stylish drama that relies on the actor's chemistry drawing viewers into their intense journey of love and reconciliation. So far, eight episodes have been previewed, and from the remaining eight, two episodes will be released every week. Number three, Ripley is a psychological thriller series based on Patricia Highsmith's 1955 crime book, The Talented Mr. Ripley. The story is set in 1960s New York and follows Tom Ripley, a young man with a knack for lying and manipulating others. When Tom faces financial difficulties, successful businessman Herbert Greenleaf approaches him and offers him a job to convince his son, Dickie Greenleaf, to come back home from Italy. Initially puzzled, Tom enthusiastically accepts the proposition, seeing it as a chance to escape his boring life. After arriving in Italy, Tom starts to idolize Dickie. But when Dickie becomes tired of Tom's company and begins to distance himself, Tom feels rejected which turns his admiration for Dickie into an obsession. Soon after, Tom starts pretending to be Dickie by imitating his actions. He finds himself entangled in an unstable game of cat and mouse as he tries to avoid the suspicions of the Italian police. The show is brilliantly shot and provides a gripping look at identity, obsession, and the darkest recesses of the human mind. Its skillful storytelling immerses the viewer in a world of trickery, plotting, and killing, as Tom becomes more and more involved in a maze of falsehoods. All things considered, the show has a gripping murder story and deep character development that mesmerizes viewers with its frightening depiction of human behavior. Number two, Parasite the Grey is a 2024 sci-fi horror action series directed by Yin Sangho. The show is a live action version of Hitachi Iwaki's manga series, Parasite, which chronicles an encounter with unknown parasitic creatures that take over people's brains. 
The story centers on mysterious parasitic creatures that crash land from space and start killing people to take control of their bodies and minds to acquire their own power. The main focus of the story is Jung Sulin, who contracts a parasite that fails to take over her brain but instead begins an odd coexistence with her. Meanwhile, Seol Kang Wu searches for his abducted younger sister by pursuing parasites, and Choi Jun Kang, the head of the parasite task force, lost her spouse to parasites and has made it her mission in life to eliminate them. This Netflix version retains many elements from the original manga in somewhat different ways while presenting an original plot that is similar to the animated series. Additionally, the conclusion provides an excellent bridge into season two, as well as a satisfying conclusion to the plot. The show's six episodes are jam-packed with exciting science fiction plots, monsters versus human action sequences, and a fascinating storyline, making it ideal for binge-watching, even though it lacks the punch of a manga and an animated show. Number one, three-body problem for now. Set the book aside and analyze this series for its concept. You're going to love it, especially if you're a fan of mind-challenging science fiction. The primary focus of the show is the unexplained deaths of scientists who experience odd countdowns just before they die. The story follows a group of researchers, including Jin Chang and Austina, as they look into these peculiar deaths and discover a virtual reality game that leads them to an immense alien danger that is around 400 years away from Earth. Meanwhile, all of this is due to events that took place 50 years ago amid the Chinese Cultural Revolution when scientist Wai Wuji saw her father put to death and was chosen for a covert government initiative that involved reaching out to extraterrestrial worlds. Shortly after establishing communication with an unidentified extraterrestrial species, she consents to assist them in invading Earth and establishing their society. Thus, scientists in the present period have to deal with an extraterrestrial army that is preparing to attack Earth. The show depicts the researchers' efforts to find a way to stop them, but can they do so? The show's story feels a little draggy, but the time spent setting up the invasion is beneficial. The adaptation covers Liu Tixin's first book, The Three-Body Problem, and makes a few changes that are unlikely to please book readers, but for a wider audience as well as sci-fi fans, it is terrific science fiction with a fascinating mind-bending plot that should not be missed. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.